Shalom, let me start by giving all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha, Quidash, double honors to the apostles and others, great millstone, peace and mercy to the house of David. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, the world calls God. Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son. What the world refers to as Jesus Christ, Bahasham is in the name. Rakaha Quadash is the Holy Spirit. And also a shalom to the 144,000 men that's laboring in his truth for the sake of Yahweh Hashem Shai. And shalom to the innumerable multitude, men, women, and children that may be listening in all truth and sincerely shalom. This is your brother Quadash coming back here with another video through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Shai. And the title of this video, Lord willing, is going to be The Fruit in the Garden. And let me start here the book of Genesis, chapter 3, verse 1. It says, Now the serpent was more subtile than any beast of the field which the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahushai power had made. And he said unto the, unto the woman, Yea, have the Most High said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the tree of the trees, we may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but but of the fruit of the tree, which is in the midst of the garden, the most high or powers have said, ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, ye shall not surely die. Okay, and this subtile, this subtile creature, this serpent, okay, it goes back to uh, Revelation 12 and 9. It says, the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceived the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Okay, this is speaking of Esau, Edom, that old serpent. Okay, that's that old serpent in the garden, you know, and it's, you know, spiritually, that's Esau. Okay. Because Esau, he's that serpent. He's that snake. Okay, more subtile. Okay, he's the... He 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 embodies wickedness. All right, the sons of the wicked. Okay, is Esau Edom, the so-called white man. All right, so through reincarnation, all right, Esau wasn't born yet, but this the spirit that this that this man came in, okay, was, a, was uh, in the spirit of Esau. Okay, it says, verse 5, for the powers... Do if know that in the day ye eat thereof, then shall your eyes be open, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. Okay, so you got to think, you know, what kind of what kind of fruit, you know, has this has the is it an actual fruit, you know, because what fruit can you get that's going to open you up to to eat to uh to good and evil, man? Okay, it's not a literal fruit, a literal fruit. All right, it's the philosophies, it's the doings of the of these other nations. Okay, and our uh, verse six says, and when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree to be desired to make oneself wise, she took of the fruit thereof and did eat, and gave also to her husband with her, and he did eat. Okay, so these trees, okay, represents people. Right represents the other nations. Okay, so, so the fruit, you know that, or the doings that they were doing, it, it seemed pleasant. Okay, all this, you know, really the doings of, of wickedness, man. Okay, serving these idol gods. Okay, um, whether it may be uh, really serving idol gods, man, serving idols, man. Okay, doing things contrary, you know, to to what uh, Yahweh Shem Yahushua tells us. Okay, because when you eat the fruit, okay, when you do the doings, all right, you're gonna reap corruption, man. It says, um, verse seven, and the eyes of them both were open, and they knew that they were naked. All right, meaning what? Meaning in sin. It says, and they sold fig trees, fig leaves together and made themselves aprons. All right. They tried to hide their wickedness. They tried to hide their sins. 
Okay, because they knew that they was going off, man. All right, you know, by them doing that, by them falling out the other, the other ways, okay, the other doings of these nations, you know, all right, then they realized that they was going off, man. And this is Hosea uh, chapter 10, and I'm going to start at verse 12. It says, sow to yourselves in righteousness, reap in mercy. So if we, if we're, uh, doing righteous things, all right, sowing righteousness towards our spirit, then we're going to reap, all right, the benefits of it, all right, which is, which is mercy, okay, salvation. It says, break up your fallow ground, for it is time to seek the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Shai, till he come and rain righteousness upon you. It says, Verse 13, ye have plowed wickedness. Ye have reaped iniquity. Ye have eaten the fruit of lies. Because thou didst trust in thy way and the multitude of thy mighty men. See, the fruit of lies, man. We have eaten the fruit of lies. Okay, so when you eat something, you are you are digesting it, okay, into your into your into, into, into your stomach. All right, so when you eat something spiritually, you're digesting it, you're uh you're putting it in your mind, and you're and you're doing it. All right, so you're you're so when you're studying uh, wickedness, you're sowing it, and then as you're sowing it, you're gonna reap it. You're gonna you got it in your mind. Now you're gonna react on it. Now you're gonna reap. The the you're gonna reap those bad fruits, okay? That you're sowing. All right, and um, let me get this here. Hosea chapter ten. That's what our people do. They trust, they trust in in this system. Okay, they trust America, man. <laughs> you see, you know, and uh, fruit for fruit here. Okay, it says of actions, figuratively, figuratively, of actions, and that's how the Lord is speaking here. The Lord is speaking, speaking uh, figuratively. All right, so you're. It's the actions, man. All right. It says reward as well. Okay. It says ye have plowed wickedness. Ye have reaped iniquity. Okay. So when you plow in, you know, uh, when you plow in a garden, all right, you, you, you getting to prepare to plant seeds in it. Okay. It says, and ye have reaped iniquity. It says ye have eaten the fruit of lies. Okay. Because you, you plow and you, and you sow. Okay, now you're gonna reap, you know, sin. Okay, your now now that now your fruit is is sin. You have eaten the fruit of lies, man. Okay, you're you're going out there, you're going out to other gods, man. Okay, you're or you're serving yourself. You're doing out you're doing out to your own fleshly desires, bro. That's what that's that's the fruit of lies. That's what that's what Eve ate up in that garden, man. You know, just how the Lord tells us. You know, to eat this roll, okay? As uh I mean it's actually Ezekiel. Ezekiel three and one. It says, Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, eat that thou findest, eat this roll, and go speak unto the house of Israel. So eat this roll, speaking of, of these scriptures. So we have to uh how, and how do we eat this roll of the scriptures? Do we literally take our pages and, and put it in our mouth and eat it? No, man, we study. Okay, we get it. We get it in our spirit. We get it in our mind. Okay. We eat this roll. We digest it. Okay. We're we're able to understand the scriptures. All right. By the by by studying and reading, and watching videos, we're able to understand it. Once we eat it, then that means we understand it. Then we can go out and speak. 
It says, so I, verse two, so I opened my mouth and he caused me to eat that roll. And he said unto me, son of man, cause thy belly to eat and fill thy bowels with this roll that I give thee. Then did I eat it and it was in my mouth as sweet as honey. And he said unto me, son of man, go get thee unto the house of Israel and speak with my words unto them. Okay, so we're eating this roll. All right, and once we digest it, then we're going to, so we're sowing. All right, when we're eating this roll, then once we digest it and eat it, then we then we're gonna reap the the good fruits, man. These are the good fruits, you know, by, by eating the roll of the scriptures, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, understanding the breakdowns, then we're gonna be reaping good fruit. All right. And uh let me get um let me get the book of Mark real quick. Just representing those trees, speaking of the other nations, okay, or or other uh, really representing people, okay, because the Lord side of the Lord speaks as well. Mark chapter eight, starting at verse twenty-two, and he come up to Beth, Beth Bethsaida, speaking of Yahweh Shai, and they bring a blind man unto him, and besought him to touch him, and he took the blind man by the hand by the hand, and led him out of the town. And when he had spit on his eyes and put his hands upon him, he asked him if he if he saw it. And he looked up and said, I see men as trees walking. OK, so the Lord refers to men as trees, man. OK, so uh, these trees in the midst of the garden uh, and then when the Lord placed them in the garden of Eden, all right, which is, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I don Okay, really meaning like paradise. Okay, and so these these different trees was different nations, man. Okay, and they was and uh, and the fruit is their doings. Uh, let me actually get this in the blue letter here as well. For uh, the word fruit in the New Testament as well. This is uh, Matthew chapter 7, starting at verse 15. Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are raving wolves. Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? Even so, even so, uh, let me read 16 again. One second. It says, ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns or or figs of thistles? You know, so you shall know a man by his by the way he that he act. OK, the fruit is going into the way a person acts, man. Let me just prove that real quick. Go to go to fruit. Strong's G, 2590, Carpas, Carpas. And it says, uh, work, act, deed. It says, to gather fruit, reap harvest into eternal life as into a gunnery. It says, is used in figurative, and figuratively, it says, discourse of those who by their labors have fitted souls to obtain eternal life. All right. See, fruits goes into labors. You know our works. It says, verse 17, Matthew 7 and 17, even so every good tree bringeth forth good fruit. You know, so every good person, you know, put in the lamest terms, you know, every, every good profitable servant is going to bring forth Good fruits, good fruits, man. Good works. Okay. They're not going to be, you know, uh, in this thing for filthy lucre sakes, you know, speaking about Israelites. Okay. But even, uh, like look at Esau's fruits, man. Esau, Esau's fruits, you know, he's, uh, he's, his works is what? Homosexuality, you know, uh, feeding you trash, Okay, GMO foods. Okay, just unrighteous decrees, man. Okay.
trying to chip you people, man. These are the fruits of Esau, man. F corrupt fruit. Bad bad acts, bad works. Look at it. They, they, they shoot us down. Slavery. Okay? Verse 18 says, A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. Neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. So a corrupt person can't bring forth righteousness, man. You know, can uh scripture says, can uh can you make that straight with the Lord made crooked? It says, Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit, good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. You're gonna be destroyed for for uh for doing wicked deeds, man. Wherefore, by their fruits ye shall know them. Okay? How the way they think, you know, it says Mark those that cause the visions that are contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them. Okay, so you may know a man by their fruits, man. He, it says, whereby by their fruits ye shall know them. And uh, let me read this in NLT, Matthew 7 and 20. Yes, just as you can identify a tree by its fruits, so you can identify people by their actions, man. Okay. You know, a hand join hand hand join hand in hand with the wicked man. Okay, if you see a person just can't their actions is just wicked, they bring forth just wicked fruit, man. All right, they're gonna be put to death, man. They're gonna be put in that fire. They're gonna be destroyed by thermonuclear missiles. You see, so this was just getting into that that fruit in the garden, you know, it's it's actions, it's it's your deeds, it's it's philosophies really, man. Okay, because you have to, you have to, uh, you have to sow to give to bring forth fruit, man. So it's really, you know, you learning the other ways of these other nations, man. Okay, and it's a shame, man. That's why they they said that they was naked. It was a shameful act that they were that they was doing, man. Okay, all right. So with that, you know, Lord willing, this video is edifying. Get some understanding on that on that fruit in the garden. Uh, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, great millstone, peace and mercy to the house of David. To the next lesson, I say Shalom and a Baba Ball. Shalom.